Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Xdebug using Lando and PHP Storm. So the initial requirement in your Lando YAML is to make sure that you have Xdebug set to true in the config section. If you do not, add that in and then do a Lando rebuild and you should be good to go. With that started, the first thing we're going to do in PHP Storm in this project is come up to File, Settings. You'll be in the language PHP, and as you can see here, you'll see all this nonsense. Now, what we need to do is remove all these included paths so that you can, so they don't interfere or anything. And how I just removed all those is by selecting one, hitting Control or Command A and hitting the minus button. What we need to do is come up here and I know from my uh, Lando YAML that I'm in PHP 7.2 so I'm going to set that here and then I'm going to hit the three little dot button next to the CLI interpreter. I'm going to hit the plus. I'm going to hit this first option from Docker Vagrant blah 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 blah. I'm going to come over here we're going to select Docker. We're going to hit OK. All right. So before you hit OK, sorry, you come in here and make sure you have the uh, right uh, image selected, in which in this case, it auto-populated it correctly. Click OK, and that's it. Hit Apply, click OK, hit Apply, click OK, come over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a, a debug point now so that this will capture where we're at. And how you do that, I usually use the T equals 1. I set a breakpoint by clicking in this margin and I come up here and click this button. That's telling me to listen. Now, if I come over here, you'll see this happen. Now what's going on is that it caught the server. We're going to go ahead and accept this. And see, as you can see, it already is working. However, what we need to make sure is that everything is set up properly on this, um, that the paths are, my, are mapped properly. And in this case, it is. We wanted to make sure that it says slash app um, on here. And actually, since we're using composer-based setup, it's better to do this. Come up here, just click on that, hit slash app, and hit enter, and you should be good to go. Apply that, and you can debug away. All right. So yeah, this will look messed up, but make sure our uh, thing is turned back on and come over here and you'll see it spin. And that usually means that our breakpoint is stopped. And then you can do all the fun things that you need to with Xdebug and debug all your applications. So that should about do it. And if you have any questions, please add them in the comments section. Thank you.